guys, this is Matt with Pack Motor. Um, I'm here at the boat ramp and I have Pack Motor with me. And a customer wanted to know if you can actually mount Pack Motor in the front of your kayak. And you absolutely can. And I'm going to demo that now and then do a test run so you guys can see how it works. So, by default, Pack Motor comes like this where the straps are on the front. And this is where you would normally have it mounted in the back of your kayak. And these would be pulling towards the front. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna undo these straps here. I'm gonna try to do this with one hand. And we're gonna move them around to the back so we can actually pull from the other side. So it's real easy. Pull this off, just slip this out. And I'll demo what I'm trying to do here. I'm turning it around. And instead of having it in the front, I'm going to loop this through. All right, so as you can see, I did one of them already. And I'm gonna show you the other one live. Just like that. Then you slide this on like this. Slide the buckle all the way down. To about here. And you loop this in. And then back through again. And there's more detailed instructions online for that. So there's one more step too is pull pins come stock on the front but what you can do is you can take a quarter inch um, end wrench and you can loosen them up just take one turn and then they spin freely by hand you can pull them out and if anything ever happens to these they're all stainless steel these are replaceable so you just flip them over and there is a, another one in the back and you just screw it in. That way the pull pin is now in reach when your motor is configured for the front. And what you do is you take this quarter inch wrench, do a snug turn at the end, and now it's set for the front. Hopefully you can see that. That one's set for the back. That one's still in the front. I'm gonna move that one next. All right, so let me show you what I'm gonna do. So I kind of already slid on there one time and preset the bottom. Um, I did also press this push pin in and open it up to the next slot here. And when you do that, sometimes you have to wiggle this wire a little bit just so this pin will pop back out a little bit. You see that? But all you do, you put it on just like you would on the back but on the front so see how I'm doing that that would actually put it in the wrong direction I want it this way I want that pack motor front facing forward make sure your strap underneath is uh, flat And you take these side straps, you find where your cam buckle is going to hook on. Mine goes onto the handle. Pull it through your cam buckle and then tighten it down. Same on the other side. buckle and then what I like to do is pull the can buckle strap and pull the pack motor at the same time towards you to get a firm connection and so now you can just tuck these up somewhere I like to just tuck it under the seat and when you're in your kayak I'll try to do it on camera 
but now what you can do is you can easily reach up, pull these pins, and the motor will drop down. See? And same with the other side. And then it's actually out of the way far enough. My feet are fine. The actual foot pedals are right here in the kayak. But now the pack motor is facing in the right direction and it's going to pull me rather than pushing me. But reverse is going to work the same. Turning is still going to work the same, but it's in the front. So let's go give it a shot. And I wanted to make note, uh, I didn't notice that this strap was hanging low uh, while I was on camera. But you want to make sure that this bottom strap, the excess, you just pull up. You can either trim it off if you know you're never going to need it anymore. But um, you uh, just pull it up usually and just wrap it around like that so it's out of the way. And Okay, I just launched. Got my controller here. Let me turn it on. Let me pull the pin. Splash in, let it go down to the bottom. All right, and then we'll go forward here. Fishing pole. I made some tight canal here. Let me uh, spin this around here. So, driving in forward. And it's normal to see some movement in the back motor. Uh, I just get used to it, I guess. Um, it just, it's like an exoskeleton, I say. It just kind of wraps around your boat and gets you moving. And so, it's not a problem that it moves a little bit. So if you have a situation where you have a certain kayak that you need to have the motor mounted in the front, you can definitely do it. Turns really well too. So I'm back after the test with the motor mounted in the front and it worked pretty good. So the only thing I would say is the way the kayak motor, the pack motor is designed, these brackets have a slight curve to them, like a taper to fit the angle of the kayak. That's when it's in the back, but when it's in the front, it doesn't quite it's not designed for that angle so you will get a little bit more movement this way because it doesn't fit there's the gap in the front is gonna be bigger and it'll be flush in the back but there'll be a gap in the front because like I said it's tapered so that it will fit in the back of the kayak better so in the front you're gonna get a little bit more movement um, I guess you could make a like a wooden wedge to put in here so that you could wedge this angle back and then that would give you more stability but it does pull it does push the kayak rather pull the kayak better in the front so there's some benefits to that <laughs> 